My name is Kevin Whelan, I'm a dietitian and Professor of Dietetics and Head of Department of Nutritional Sciences at King's College London. Hi, my name is Megan Rossi and I'm a Research Fellow here at King's as well as a Gut Specialist Dietitian. Crohn's disease is a type of inflammatory bowel disease um, and it causes symptoms of pain and bloating in, in the gut and also bleeding from the gut. Um, and that causes lots and lots of diarrhea, so it's quite unpleasant when patients are feeling really poorly. It affects over 115,000 people in the UK and millions more worldwide, and so it's a really important disorder to address. Patients find it really distressing um, and the goal of treatment is really to get people well and to keep them well longer. Well the short answer is we don't currently know, this area certainly has been under-researched, but given that over 70% of our patients with Crohn's disease actually report that diet does play a role in their disease activity, it's clearly a hugely important question that we need to answer. And we do have some suspicion, so we have the idea that perhaps a diet that contains a lot of highly processed foods may actually play a role in triggering Crohn's in some people who are genetically susceptible to getting Crohn's. We're going to investigate the role of food additives in Crohn's disease. Food additives are um, added to a whole range of different foods nowadays to improve the taste, flavour, consistency, texture of different foods. Um, some scientists have shown that some food additives can impact on the gut. Um, and so they've done studies in laboratories which have shown that they change the gut microbiome, that they can change the leakiness of the gut, and if you have Crohn's disease, this probably wouldn't be very good for you. So what we aim to do is to be able to undertake a clinical trial in humans for the first time of a low food additive diet. So we've got a research grant funded by the Helmsley um, Charitable Trust for over $1.8 million to be able to fund some really, really important research to be able to find out whether this new diet will be able to treat Crohn's disease or not. So it will be an eight week clinical trial where we'll recruit participants or people with Crohn's disease from five major hospitals around London and we will then divide them into two groups. So one group will get a low food additive diet and then the other group will get a, a habitual diet, so a normal diet that naturally contains food additives. And we'll follow up those two groups for eight weeks and we'll have a look at how the different diets affect their gut health as well as their disease. Our goal is to understand whether food additives play a role in Crohn's disease and more importantly whether a low food additive diet can be used in the treatment. If we find out that it doesn't work then we can reassure patients that um, they don't need to follow um, this special restrictive diet and therefore can enjoy some of the foods that they may want to include in their diet. But if we do show it works then what we've done is add a new major treatment um, for Crohn's disease that can be applied widely throughout the National Health Service in the UK and also beyond. Um, so it can be a major new treatment for Crohn's disease and one that is really natural and that patients will, we believe, want to follow. And therefore it may become a major treatment for over 115,000 people with Crohn's disease in the UK. Well, if you have Crohn's disease and you want to be involved in our London-based study, the best thing to do is to go and speak to your gut specialist doctor, so your gastroenterologist, and ask them whether you can participate. Because there are, we are recruiting from five major hospitals throughout London, so chances are you could be eligible.